getting back to the topic at hand, so uh, let's talk about the origins of Auric, both in book and in development. It was you, Davis, along with Andrew Thomas, who created the character based on a Mike Ruth design, correct? Yes, yes. Uh, what happened uh, was, geez, almost 10 years ago today. There, there it is. There's the original Mike Ruth uh, design. Beautiful right sketch. I love uh, that. About, uh, almost 10 years ago. Uh, I was part of a, uh, the board for our uh, local Timmins Con. And uh, my, mm. part of my job was uh, recruiting uh, artists to, to come up north and uh, attend our show. And uh, we were able to convince Mike to come up for 2013 and 2014. And in 2014, he actually presented that piece to us. And uh, yeah, so uh, at 2015, Mike wasn't able to attend. I had uh, actually reached out to Andrew Thomas because uh, I had saw his, uh, his work online and fell in love with it. And uh, Andrew said, geez, okay, I'd love to come. Uh, what can I do? Can I make a... A poster or a print or oh can i can i do a little mini comic or something for the show exclusive to the show and i said yeah you yeah, absolutely you can but i said but do you, can i can i work with you on it and uh he said yeah that'd be great so we were just kind of brainstorming and he said you think mike would mind if we make use of that that character that he came up with so we asked mike and mike gave us his his full blessings he said go ahead so that's cool I mean, I see, and I'm not, and I don't want to say that it's, you know, suggestive, but I see uh, the most amazing looking Thundercat that I never got. That's what I see. And it's so cool. Mike is amazing, man. Uh, uh, over the years, uh, since, since we've done this, uh, Mike has done, uh, actually he's done a variant cover for each of the regular issues that we've done. Hey, Sharon, Shiro. <laughs> Don't worry, Sharon's not a dead name. I, mean. <laughs> <laughs> I think for every yeah, single one that we've cover done. For all, all of them, all of the issues. Yeah. So for the regular series, at least. So um, mm -hmm. he he knocks it out of the park every time. It's uh, it's amazing. You give him uh, a little idea of where you're going with the book, and then he comes up with these amazing pieces. Uh, it's this first one is incredible. Mm -hmm. It's just an amazing character. And I don't, I don't want to go off script here, Andy, but can I, can I just ask a little bit about the origins of the character, like in universe origins? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Know, but for those who don't know. <laughs> so, so basically, uh, Auric is uh, a hero that comes out of my hometown, which is Timmins, Ontario, which woo -woo, Northern we, Ontario. Yeah, exactly. That's our, uh, we kind of proudly, uh, uh, you know, uh, hail him as, uh, the first great Northern Ontario superhero, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So in, uh, 1912, uh, Oric was just a young man working in a mine because Timmins is a mining community. That's where we kind of came from. And in the mine, him and his workers broke through a rock wall where a mysterious gas escaped from it. And everybody inside the mines were affected. And then once the gas escaped out to uh, the atmosphere, the surrounding area were affected. And everybody that was exposed to this gas started turning into these horrible, disgusting monsters uh, of pure evil. And uh, as Auric was starting to feel the effects of the gas taking over, a northern goddess appeared to him and gave him the ability to quell... The, the beast that's inside him uh, to harness that power. But his job was she assigned him to, it's his job to clean up the mess. So for over a hundred years, Oric fought the battle. He won. And for 10 years, he, he got to retire and rest. But after 10 years, uh, the monster started showing up again. So, so a hundred years. So we started 1912. So that brings us to what? 2012. And then a couple of years rest. So now we're, we're talking fairly contemporary then. Absolutely. So you're the, the modern story without, without the origin, the modern story is happening pretty much in, you know, in the modern times right now. So, mm, yeah, yeah. Nice. So Auric is an old man. He's, you know, uh, his better days are behind him. Uh, but he's, he's fighting the battle again, uh, putting and putting together a new team and uh doing what he can to uh, continue the battle 
I love the idea of because uh, and we've so different books have explored this idea like our heroes in their in their twilight or in their in their later years and i always like that idea that you know you're not necessarily out to pasture no you still got some road left in you yeah yeah i mean does Oric does he take on more of a like a mentorship role as an older hero i think that's what we're trying to establish with this uh this first story arc is that uh you know he's he uh he has lost a step and we see it in multiple uh events that happen throughout this arc right but uh he does have a team that he surrounded uh, himself with that uh look like they could be the future of of you know her- heroes in in uh in canadian comics so uh, i really he, he kind of plays that uh, big papa role type of thing yeah yeah no exactly exactly 